The horse is ugly. Look at it from this angle. You all packed up on this cold morning to go see Nana? <laughs> she about She's it. got that thousand mile stare. It's cold. What is it, like 15 degrees? <laughs> 13 to quite a yeah. off. I've actually already done most of my Black Friday shopping online. But we're going to Silver City Galleria Mall in Taunton, Massachusetts. When I was a kid, that was the mall. Yes, it opened in 1992. It had yeah. all the new stores that we never had in the area. It was a seven anchor mall. It had a Leechmere, which is long gone, a Kmart, a Sears, a JCPenney. And it's built in the middle of nowhere. It's built in the middle of a forest. There was nothing nothing near it at all in 1992. Now there's a little bit of retail. Taunton Galleria was always the one that you traveled out to. Yeah, that bit. was the destination mall. Just because yeah. it was so big and grand, it's definitely in its twilight. Uh, I was just reading the mortgage on it hasn't been paid since 2009. Dick's Sporting Goods is the only anchor store left in the mall. They took like a huge section of it and made it a giant arcade laser tag bowling yeah. alley thing. There was also like a stabbing. A stabbing there was a, it's described as a mass stabbing. Five people were stabbed and killed. Several people were stabbed happened inside the Bertucci's restaurant. To recap, a witness telling us that he saw a person just coming from the back of the restaurant and randomly start slashing and stabbing people. People were screaming and hollering, throwing their chairs in the direction of this person. And then everyone just kind of scattered as, as you would think Think they probably would that assailant apparently got into his car and then drove into the Macy's and then that Bertucci's closed shortly after JC Penny left and then shortly after that Macy's left something they do have there is a gorgeous huge toy store kind of one of those boutique looking like half educational toy stores I don't think they're gonna have amazing Black Friday deals but we'll see I want to get her a little kitchen set maybe it probably <laughs> is gonna go in our kitchen and make it a double kitchen situation so the two of you can cook at the same time and kind of gossip in your native language. Right, right, and not get in each other's way. While well, she's making the soup and I'm making the bread. There's like really very few people on the road. 606 right now? Yeah. Because we're going there for the six o'clock opening. Dick's Sporting Goods opened at one. Uh, and Victoria's Secret opened at 12.30. We could have so. gotten in some early mall walking. Uh, I'm wondering generic. if the mall's gonna be decorated. We may get to see the final time this mall's decorated because I don't think it's gonna be around that much longer. But you know what will basically close tomorrow is Sears, and it's still there. I'm not sure it'll be open at 6 a.m. because why? Right. They're gonna sell fixtures at 6 a.m. because I think it's down to fixtures. The one we went to originally is still there. It's actually one of the best performing Sears. Uh, but a lot of other ones in our area have uh, have closed up shop. Nina and I want to check out Kohl's because we've been hearing about a lot of good Black Friday sales at Kohl's. Yeah, I haven't been into a Kohl's in many years. It's, uh, it's clothing, mostly. Kitchen stuff, small appliances. And then there's a Walmart. Your favorite Walmart is nearby. My favorite Walmart, yeah. And I that could be a real zoo or it could be a real snoozer. It's never clear how to enter this mall exactly. This is what I'd say is the most popular entrance. Yeah. And there's that Sears, cold as ice. And you got bowling and amusement round one. Every time I've been around here it's been packed if you look at the store directory of this mall the the largest quantity of of stores is under service base when this mall first opened they had this huge stationary staircase and then a couple years later they took it out so you would have to walk all the way to the ends of the mall to go up or down levels but now they have put escalators back in yeah they spent about five million dollars a few years ago trying to bring some life back into this mall highly decorated jonathan yeah trying to make the most of christmas they're empty <laughs> these giant this best buy is not here anymore it's gone it's a very nice huge bbc facility bcc yes bcc yeah. it'd be great if the bbc was here <laughs> i would love to go visit the bbc but yeah you can take courses here yeah at the taunton gallery mall there's basically nobody here the christmas decorations are very contained into like a central christmas village even though there's a lot of space down here so it's been a number of years since i've been in here it's definitely been modernized that's where the stairs used to be right there they used yeah. to Yes. Up and then they put this escalator in. Maybe Michael Abood can tell us something about the history of like mall escalators and their locations. Maybe. So researching it a little bit online, I was able to find apparently that it was removed for some kind of safety issues. It could have been that maybe the steps were a little bit too steep or just a little bit too far apart. As to why they took so long to put something back in its place is because when you remove those stairs, you gain a lot of uh, tenant space, specifically for kiosks, stands, anything that can is uh, movable. The premium that you pay to be at the center of a mall is usually pretty high. Two-story malls are kind of falling out of favor at this point. There's generally a lot less foot traffic to the second floor than the first floor. Most shoppers that are not going to a specific store 
tend to stay on the first floor. It's a strange thing. Just they were just filling up space with giant bowls of paper. I mean, look at all this. I mean, on Black Friday, there should be a butt in every one of those chairs. It's, it's a little early to be sitting, but I'll sit. What's behind you is a whole lot of nothing. The escalators are running. <laughs> well, my standards for dead malls are the escalators don't run, and they, they put like a cone in front of each one. This is not a dead mall. I know, but it, it's, it should be. Did this look to you like a dead mall? No. The facility is not falling oh, to no. pieces. It's, it's in great shape. Instead of leaving dead storefronts, they do like just fully put up walls. so like you don't even see it. This is the spice that Nina wants to look around for glow stuff. Yeah. That's his facenta. These are glass pumpkins. They're out of season now, but you know, coming around again. Yeah, Halloween happens every year. Everything on this table is 50% off? Yes. And everything in the store is 20% off. It's 20%. Oh, you got a little Ola? Owl salt and pepper shaker. Yeah. It's very cute. That is cute. Is it acorn? acorn. Kitchy. I think I could skip the wood nativity set personally. <laughs> <laughs> the ears are connected. We can move together. What if you want one to flap independently? I think it might be like somehow mechanized. Look at some nice Sesame Street stuff. Look at that. Do you want to get her a little Elmo that she can carry around? Julia is the plain Jane of Sesame Street. <laughs> she is one of the bigger characters to get her over. Two Winnie the Poohs here. One is like standard and one is like the Christopher Robin one. These Couple are what I'm in the market for. Now does Glow have a nice toy chest where she can keep all her toys? No. You gotta have a toy chest. We have a cubby. A cubby? This is a lovely toy chest. Well, diner set? Oh, cool. So she and somebody else could have a business meeting? The kitchen sets on the back. Can you serve a little coffee? <laughs> it's pretty sweet. So you can change what's on the, change what's on the jukebox. <laughs> You can do country, you do rock. Comes with a complete kitchenette of fake foods. You have the, your fake cheese, you have your typical hot pepper. You pick your pasta, you pick your cheese. It's essentially the never ending possible, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> They've got it right. Add salt right at the They've top. They've got it right. Yep. yep. See that all garden? That seems like a lot of salt, but let me tell you, most of that's gonna go down the drain. <laughs> Look, get out of here. Get <laughs> it's regular one ninety nine. It's on sale right now, twenty percent off. So you get it for one fifty nine. We can build it for you, and you can pick it up already built. The accessory set that's regular twenty nine ninety nine. You get the twenty percent off that also. Look, you can change the type of coffee in the mug. <laughs> yeah, Hot cocoa with marshmallows. You can leave a tip. It's got like cash for cash management. So it's going to come out to some, something like one hundred and eighty dollars for the whole enchilada. We're also not going to buy her much else. I mean, we have a small house. This one is like it's self contained. It's a real if you can't go for that when you go for this one. I still think I want to get her like another food set. What? You want to get her another food set? I, right. Nina, the pasta set. The pasta set. <laughs> I'm with Nina. <laughs> two, two sets. That already seems like a lot of loose pieces to oh, me. It doesn't matter. You know how many bits and odds and ends we got in our house right now? I got, I got a broken crayon in my pocket. Why is this in my pocket? <laughs> because you have a young child. Next year we get a more food set? Of course. What about the condiments? What about the, the table? Condiments? Fine, the condiments I'm good with. They're not in here. That cheese that John was showing us, yeah, those the chili cheese flakes. Is, the pepper and salt both have items inside. So it looks like real pepper and salt. And so does the hot sauce. John's loving the fake food. I am. I love this. I love fake food. Residual travel <laughs> the I love it. There was a children's museum in Dartmouth. They had a, a grocery store on the second floor where you could just say at a plate cash register and tons of fake fruit and vegetables and produce and everything. It was so much it's, fun for me. It was so much fun. And then kids would ruin it by like mixing like the fake restaurant food yes. with the fake grocery store food. Yeah. We could have made an episode of what's in little Junt's fake cart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm imagining seven year old Junt like walking around like bitching about the prices. Now are you guys gonna have him build it or are you gonna build it yourself? Oh, he is so gonna build they, it. Have you seen how many screws are in that thing? <laughs> yeah. I was looking at it being in, like, I can't do it. I can't say I've ever heard of flutes before. It looks like caulking. It doesn't stick on your hands. But it, but you can mold it? Yeah. It's super weird. It, feel, it feels like nothing. It's water soluble. Oh, is it? We just entered the adult part of the store where they have like Christmas trees. And dare I say, it looks like their ornaments are kind of nice. They got the snowman this is section. Nice selection. I mean, yeah. It's better than the rest of the mall. Does Nina have enough stuff? Excuse me, it was you two jackasses who were like, you gotta buy the diner. <laughs> Did you add the, uh, the, 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 the biscuits? <laughs> no. But... Did you get biscuits? Look, you put the light on and it oh, lights up the camera. They definitely have classy like ceramic stuff. Yeah, it's very nice stuff. They do have some ornaments here. It's got a Pier 1-ness about it. It does. These are like Pier 1 quality. I remember 20% nice. off everything. A nice daily calendar for your establishment. Intentionally rusty. Look at the selection of bells. Small bell. <laughs> Medium. <laughs> Large bell. Another Black Friday sale. <laughs> Functioning amazing. locks. They're really cool. I like the big keys, like the kind that you would steal from the guard if he was sleeping. These are like keys fit for a junt. These are comical keys, but they're they're very, they're like. 
<laughs> what would you do with them? I mean, realistically. Nothing. It's not even that expensive. It's only a $9 key. I kind of want to put this, like, on our ship. I like them that much. Yes, they go in on the wall. I just, I can't resist. You're just going to need that shopping cart, though? Yeah. Actually, that does feel like her to be. Pushing like around a shopping cart. I'm all about your retail. I like your diner. I like your shopping cart. I like my big metal ridiculous key. <laughs> I think you're going to be shocked at how much we spent. 200 and... $84. $284. <laughs> We're done. The kid's done for Christmas. We got to over $200 very quickly between the shopping cart and the diner place. Yeah, and I don't feel so bad about my novelty. How much did you spend? 32 bucks. I got a lovely glass pumpkin with LED lighting. They handed us free cookies on the way out. I love these kids. Let me just say, just cover me, kids. I also love the seating. Let's just, just go with that, too. You're all turned around on the Taunton Galleria ball. I, I like the store and the seat. <laughs> <laughs> what happened here? I tried to vent. Look, maybe I should just use cash. I want 56. No, this machine just steals your money. <laughs> <laughs> what about the nice seats? What about the nice keys? Don't get mad. Look at this like glass case of awesome stuff. This connects uh, Holy crap. Ferris wheel. Child size furniture. I remember at home goods we bought a softs. We did glow like the softs. She likes that chair. She sits in that chair all the time. There you have it. That was an unanswered question on my mind. Now you know too. This is the very diner. Look at the cash. This sloth and gorilla have left on the table. Yeah, they're like, they just won the lottery and yeah. they're blowing through it because they don't have any old money and they don't know how to manage cash. That's right. They never learned in high school. Now that you have the diner, you just have infinite opportunities for expansion of diner. Did you find everything you were looking for today? Look at Would this. you like to join our rewards program? Look at these slightly healthy impulse buys, this granola bar and fruit leather. We're now back to the reality that is the Taunton Galleria Mall. The further you get away from the center of the mall, it starts to die real quick. A whole lot of nothing, a whole lot of nothing. Somebody said they wanted to, to see me try to guess what stores based on their abandoned fronts. A lot of like jewelry stores, it looks like. Yeah, that one down there was clearly a jewelry store. A boxing studio? A whole ring in there? Look at it. You can go boxing. That looks like a Sam Goody right there. Sam Goody, what was in there? It's like a record store. Do you remember strawberries? Yep, they're long gone. I just, I thought there'd be people. Those are like three. Walk Collections is gonna miss out on the Black Friday yeah. rush. This used to have be a Suncoast. Yep. That's right. Before DVDs were a thing, that was where you went to buy DVDs. That's right. And Laserdiscs, I used to buy Laserdiscs. It was too. a big deal. And this is the original storefront for Suncoast. This is not changed. What do you think's in that door? It's locked. Bayless, 50% off the entire store. You can buy the whole store for half off. And then open a competing shoe store in an empty space and sell for 25% off. If you want to flip Paylesses. I feel like there's plenty of these cell stores where it's like cell phone covers and repairs. It's long gone, but this mall used to have a Disney store. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. down toward the middle of the store on this one. It's the former location of Unplugged Toys. Whoa. Registration validation in progress. This is the MAC address. You need to like add it to the IP list. Yeah. Add it to the DHCP. The DHCP static. Config. Yeah. There used to be a store here that I loved it's called like something science. It had like tons of like science books and, and minerals and yeah. long gone now. Now we have, I can't even tell you what the name of that is. Verdant? Verdant Conscious Clothing? Which is not open for business. I always assumed this little hallway area led to a bathroom and it doesn't. It doesn't. It just leads to two exit emergency stairways. Do you think that if a retailer doesn't participate in Black Friday, it's kind of a bad sign? I think so. That was where the Disney store used to be with those glass fixtures. They must have closed over 10 years ago. Yeah, and the storefront's still there, which means demand for storefronts is. You're not even gonna go inside Yankee Candle? I just got so many candles. It seems impractical, doesn't it? Yeah. Especially after you splurge on all those keys. Buy you three, get three free. It's a lot of candles, John. No wonder you have so many. If it was That's buy one, deal. get one, I could swing it because I could just get two candles. <laughs> I wish the deal was worse. I got a warmer for my candles now. I don't even light them anymore. So a warmer that will even heat the big jars. And that means they don't burn away. I don't even have to buy new ones. So The only way that deal works is if you were committed to giving candles to people as a gift. Scents are very different things for different people. Right. You, like, have, you have to like know what scents people like. Yeah. I mean, everybody likes fresh linen. True. Saying. All right, we're inside anyway. Ooh. <laughs> Sage and citrus. Mm -hmm. Ooh, buy three, get three of them. I love the styling of these, the wood. But no, can't buy any. <laughs> it's just a huge glass dome over a candle, but I love it. There probably is something to aromatherapy, isn't there? Oh yeah, absolutely. Good smells can put you in a good mood fast. Oh, yeah. It has to be very subtle, because if it's too strong, it overwhelms me, I'm like, Whoa. It's too sweet, the smell is too sweet. It's too much sugar in the whole thing. Five dollars on all tumbler candles? What? That's a good price. That's a superior price. Maybe you should buy some more candles. <laughs> Even these ones up here that are normally real big bucks. Chesapeake Bay's. Mm. 
Two. You're not gonna take advantage of the buy three get three? No, no, no. Oh. Because that would be utterly ridiculous. Would be, if you got like six, six candles for fifteen dollars, no, no. This used to be a hot topic. Now it's an ultimate velvet chair for shoe shine. That's the second cell fashion. Both of them mall. are open on Black Friday. For some reason, like trashy cell phone stores do well in it's failing true. malls. I've brought my phone to those places to get the screen repaired for like a hundred dollars. And they do a good job. I mean, they do it with uh, aftermarket screens that yeah. Apple would never sell you. Hot Topic has merely moved. A slightly more modern store. It doesn't have that sort of prison look anymore. No. Because remember, Hot Topic used to be really gothy emo -y. Now it's got a new image. Slash pop culture. There used to be in this mall a Filene's basement that was actually downstairs. And I think the escalator used to be right there. So there's probably a hidden retail basement that is in awful condition. The hidden space. I want to be down there so bad. The Filene's basement was a separate place. It was like the, you know, the TJ Maxx. Of Filene's. How is Macy's doing these days in general? Eh, I mean, they great. still put on a big parade every year. Do you think a day will come in our lifetimes where that parade is not the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade anymore? It could certainly or happen. I mean, you know, Thanksgiving Day Parade. If you'd ask yeah. people in the 80s, will there be a day where Sears, you know, is gone? They'd be like, no, no. too big to fail. That Nina's gonna get her that. dunks. So here's what happened. I got sucked in by one of the ladies at Fuji Chen. Yep. She was like, here, try chicken, try chicken. $4.99, what do you want? And she had the carton out. It was like rice, right? I guess. And I, and I kind of got whisked into the whole thing. <laughs> and so I ended up with lo mein and chicken. I thought you very intentionally had gone. Nah. The I thought he had too, but no. Nah. But that, you were just looking for the sample. Yes. That, got you. that was a more aggressive sell than I've ever had. But because I went and got this, yep. you were like, well, I guess I could get some Sarku Japan. Because this place, there's not very many of them anymore. There used to be one in the Prudential Center in Boston when they had a food court. They tore it all out and put like an Italy. And I love this place and I never get to go. I've thought about coming up here just to go there, but it's too much. And then Nina was like, can uh, I get I'm some like, food? I'm pretzel bites, you guys. <laughs> so she got some pretzel bites so with marinara. So we ended up having a meal at 10, 15 a.m. 7. 7. It, oh, wow. It's like 7.30. Okay, fine. And I'm having lo mein and chicken. I haven't had breakfast yet, so So what'd fine. you get? I just got teriyaki chicken over rice. Oh, it's good. And they just made it fresh. Look who it is. Our old friend says, Last four days for this particular location. Not open for Black Friday business. They did that thing that John talked about in previous videos where they just like put up a wall. Yeah. So like most of the stores go. We've spent a lot of time on Sears on Junt's cart. I was thinking about this place for a while and I was looking at it saying the Sears is gonna close at the end of November so we wouldn't get to do it for Black Friday. And, you know, we can at least look in on Black Friday, but they're just not opening. Oh, it's a sad state of affairs, Frank. We went into the GameStop, but they're really inhospitable to, like, any nonsense other than just buying games. Seven guys with lanyards come up to you and they're like, can I help you buy things? Two more restaurants that have been gone a long time. Round Round and a Ruby Tuesdays, I think. Round Round's been gone as a brand for a long time, so. You might even say that the gallery Mall is a little deflated. $10 per child per day. You could be here all day. For yeah. Months. Just so a bunch of benches for parents to sit at while the kids go nuts. I would take Gloria here. But you can contract a few diseases in there. There's no ball pits. I mean, those are notoriously filled with snot, right? Yeah. You can get like a fairly affordable arcade machine. Well, it's really not that affordable, is it? Four games and it's $300. And it's kind of small. Like Actually, this sucks. Pickled candy canes. This is like the thing at FYE is that they have a lot of pop culture branded food. Jurassic Park chips. Jersey Shore pasta sauce. <laughs> the cheese pizza just for me. And then it says Home Alone down here. Very nice. FYE is the very last of the mall stores for like music, entertainment. This is the last one that exists. Is that true? Yeah. There's such backlash against the mall pet stores and puppy mills. Do, do mall pet stores even exist? Yeah. I haven't seen one in a long time, but I also don't go to a lot of malls. I don't, I don't think I've seen a pet store. Yeah. I think it's over. Spay and neuter your pets, Bob Bakker. Yeah. That round one place looks incredible. Dude, it's I'm amazing. telling you. But it's not open. We walked in one time during like peak business. Yeah. Deafening. The roar of kids. Holy cow. It's huge. Two, four, six, eight. 12 lane bowling, a gigantic arcade, that, food, bar, billiards, karaoke, ping pong. That's what makes it hard for me to believe this would ever close. This thing. is really cool too. Like the entryway is, is very coolly formed up. Like, yeah, like you can start playing games on the way through. Yeah. There's like photo booths. Well, if we can shop till 10 a.m., this place is open at 10 a.m. till 1 a.m. I thought it was like a real family thing. I think it's family until probably like 8 p.m. I mean, there is a bar and karaoke and bowling. I mean, there's a lot of really adult focused things. It's like a Dave and Buster's bus bus. So when you're just hanging around at your house at 10 p.m. thinking like, I'd like to go out, but well, where would I go? That never happens to you. <laughs> 10 p.m. wide awake going, I want to do something. Is this licensed usage of the name Gundam? How about that Ninja Marshmallow store? 
That looks like a store, and I love a good soft display. How do you huh? feel about a soft spider? Oh, I love it. Look at how it's blushing. Here we are with the fake food again. A squishable sloppy disc. Whoa. Yes. It's my kind of catch. Squishables avocado toast for the millennials. For the millennials. Look, you can get some Tetris shelves on your bunk bed wall. What about your basket onion rings? <laughs> okay, so you can go into the dressing rooms and do God knows what. Stupid deaths? That sounds great. John, what's your favorite board game? Not talking about it. <laughs> you need you with a bike take it out. It's so good. This car has incredible control. Like, you can spin it around this track very quickly. It's got a lot of control. There's a, a Bushin display. It's full of Oh, he eats pizza and cookies and chips and all these cupcakes things. and all ice these cream and, and donuts. This Professor Pusheen. 15% off Pusheen. Not buying Pusheens. I need no Pusheens. Are you talking about buying this squishable floppy for $30? Yes. Yes. But wait a minute, is there a sale at least? I don't think so, but it's long discontinued. It is outrageous, but I'm going to do it. I'm never going to see one again. I just looked on Amazon. They're long gone. They've been out of stock for you. Well, there you have it. Is it the only one here? It's the only one here. Yeah, you got to so. get it. They're doing the cookie thing too over here. Yeah. It's clever. It's clever. Not open for Black Friday, but here's a serious candy store. I wish it was open. You go and buy some candy. Would you get some candy even though you just had an Asian meal? Well, I'll take it home. This clearly used to be a Claire's. Yep, clearly. But new store's coming in. K Closet. This is the empty ass Galleria on Black Freaking Friday. It, that used to be Macy's, yeah, eh? Yeah. It's all like broken and sad. This looks much more alive than the mall does. We're going to the Coles. People love themselves at Target. We have a crazy good parking space. Have you ever been to Coles? I once ordered pants online from Coles, thinking that I had the right size and I really should have gotten them fitted because they were way too small when they came in. Small. I know they have Coles cash, which is a real big thing. Look at those small appliances. People walking out with a bag. Like, people <laughs> buying stuff, man. Oh, I can use some this is trying to compete with the Instant Pot? Yes, clearly. I guess it's on sale for quite a bit off. 139 normally? That seems like one of those up to down prices. Oh, I like it when John does this. I like it when John does this and then threatens to leave. It's a good price, I guess. It seems expensive to me, but uh, it's available refurbished for 75 on Amazon. I'm seeing a lot of people walk out with this this gaming chair. This just, this just reeks of JC Penny. Nina, you'd look, look, what size? Extra small? Right here. You know what I'm very generous to me. <laughs> you know what I, think? I think that it's basically a larger Target clothing section. Also some home goods. Yes, low cost clothing. They have a lot of ornaments and things in the back. The springiness. It's so springy. It's, it's so springy. You gotta get in on it, man. It's too big, that one. You, you should get a small. Yeah, it's 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 a little wide open here. <laughs> I pointed the extra small and she was like utterly ridiculous. Look, she's wearing her what's just got shirt. Small. This is small. SMO. Yeah, small, small is Nina's size. That looks reasonable. It's just the cut. It's a little... I look at a sweater, I think, for warmth, and your, your area here is going to be cool. Your yeah. female neck area. Turntable. It's garbage, though. Technology garbage. Low quality. Kitchenware to the right. Bedding to the left. Like a card department. Yeah. I got a little hermit crab. A hermit crab. Oh, that's cute. Got some Bluetooth speakers. Lots of Bluetooth speakers. A little weird to see this department. Mm. I thought this was like a dying thing in retail. You know, electronics department. Kohl's is still sort of marketing itself as like a alternative target. It's just like the rebirth of it and hope. Things come in cycles. That's true. I don't want to say anything, but this is three dollars cheaper than it was at Unplugged. Well, there you have it. They have an SNES Classic. Hi, <laughs> could I buy the SNES Classic? Are you guys done shopping? No. You find they're a little overprotective of their electronics? It's not even that expensive a device. What, 70 bucks? 80, yeah. 12 days of unease, you open up a new pair of underwear each day. Very good then. You have to gift this early in the season? Oh, well, I mean, 12 days before Christmas if you want to do it that way. You could make a little rotisserie chicken is what they're almost trying to tell me. Whoa. Would you buy anything being sold by this guy? No. I don't like his beard. I don't like the cut of his jib. Olive, olive oil. Or? I do want to go look at the vacuum tissue right next to me. <sighs> Nina, if you will need a vacuum, I have recommendations. So you want one with dual clean, Nina. It has these two rollers. The front roller picks up your big debris, and it also means that you don't have to turn it off on a hard floor. And I recommend this one here. It's $300. That's a great price. This one's a little nicer. This is more convenient. I've it's... never spent this much on a vacuum. $279. This is a great vacuum, Nina. You would not be displeased. Why is he trying to sell me a vacuum? <laughs> <laughs> Why does John want me to buy things? <laughs> look how easy it glides. Look how light it is. It's so light. <laughs> look, I can knock it over. Look at how... What is with that pivot? Oh my god. Oh, Vacuums have come a long way. No, no trouble at all. And this disconnects. So you can take this off. I don't know how you do it. Do you work for Shark? Yeah, why yeah. do you know this? Because I watch a lot of vacuum videos on YouTube. I've never actually touched one of these before. I've just seen the videos. Are you persuaded? <laughs> a little bit. Try it, Nina. Buying a $300 vacuum. I mean, if we need a vacuum, then I want to buy the best one, don't I, I John? I mean, you already feel like we spent a lot of money today. I feel like we spent a ton of money today. I think you're going to have to get it.
<laughs> Wait, it's cheaper on Amazon? Yeah, it's two thirty four on Amazon on, on Red Friday sale. On Red Friday. <laughs> Red Friday. You search it for NV803, shark. Nina's going to buy it right now. We just did showrooming, Frankie. We just showroomed to this vacuum, which means to go into a retail store, look at the product, then buy it online. Did they open their customer service desks to serve more people? It looks like it. We're at a Walmart Supercenter. This is my favorite Walmart. It's the hugest by far. They call other Walmart Super Walmarts, but this is a real old style Super Walmart. It's almost 200,000 square feet. They don't make them this big anymore. This is a Walmart to behold. They saw alcohol here at this Walmart. Like right at the entrance, giant things of high That's pretty unusual, right? Yeah. It's just like the grocery store is like stop and shop. Size. Yeah, it's, it's like a stop and shop. Yeah. I actually do want to buy a grocery or two. So this Walmart has one of my favorite layouts, which is grocery and pharmacy is arranged in a long form adjacent to the grocery store. Finally, some Black Friday activity. A high priority price tags. They're printed on a Lexmark laser printer. I know the printer, I know the technology, I know everything about it. There's quite a bit of activity around here. It's mostly clothes. Okay, we're gonna hit that point in the day where I have too much extra energy. The coffee, the excitement, the rush. If I had popcorn balls, oh. <laughs> oh, very nice. 1288 though. No sale, no sale yeah. 3DS Zelda for just $17. Canon printer for 19 I don't really think anybody needs photo printers. I mean, you, don't you exhibit your photos on social media? It's this arcade thing again for now $249. It's just never cheap is what I'm learning. Okay, look at this deal though. 55 inch or UHD 4K 349. That's pretty tempting. That's a good deal. They got Roku TVs, which are great TVs. 4K is 388. Nina's been critical of how many TVs I've purchased. We have a you TV in anymore. every room but the bathroom. Why is Nina looking at vacuums again? I just wanted to see if I would made a good purchase, but I don't think they have that brand. They did have a deal for Black Friday where they were selling Hoovers for 19 which is ridiculous. Tan, hell, okay. sharp. But the Dyson do, one is actually do, better. Do, 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 do. A UHE 4K 65 inch for 4 dollars it's a great price. I bought my plasma 65 incher for two thousand yeah. dollars. We could replace. No, you don't need any TV. Wow, it's so cheap. It's 2200 lumens. Oh, John, you really need this. I watch videos about this all the time on YouTube. Oh, yeah, and um, what do they have to say, Nana? It'll make your popcorn for you, okay, and it'll massage your feet while you watch your movie. Okay, I'm sold. Huge thing at Walmart this year on Black Friday is Pioneer Women branded goods. They had all kinds of stuff at the Seekonk one. What is it? Uh, it's just a Walmart brand. Redheaded lady telling you how to cook? Yes, I, I guess so. But you, you just, you've been seeing this in the circulars, or what are you trying to tell me? I'm telling you. What is it, Lassie? <laughs> Nothing. What is this giant horse? That is one ugly looking horse. Wow, that's a big soft. Those are two big softs. What's the retail? $20. That's ridiculous. You spent more on the floppy disk. I did, I spent 10 more bucks. I could have bought a, a sloth and a half. Why is this for ages three plus? Like what about this is like, oh, don't buy this for your two year old. They might choke on it. I kind of need a new Christmas tree for the living room. Not for my house, but for the other house. So I'm not, I'm not gonna buy one this year, but I'll just take a look, see what they got. LED Christmas lights are just the ugliest thing, aren't they? Look how these aren't even all the same color. See how this white versus that one right there? This like, is your annual bitch. Uh, I would wish that I had a house big enough to put a tree like this in. This place is enormous. Look at that, yeah, there's a whole nother area. They have pattern drawers here, Nina. Walmarts used to all have pattern craft sections. It's super LED, but the colors are really nice. They're finally figuring out that they can do really cool things with the color on these. Yeah, I kind of dig this. I put it right next to the tree in the house. You get the fire truck, the recycling truck, and the dump truck. That's wild. One at Grandma's house, one at the other Grandma's house, and one at your home. For $30, that's so cheap. Is that Black Friday type stuff? Just DVDs in the middle of the hallway. You getting your Land O'Lakes four cheese blend? Extra thick slices? One of the best cheeses around. Look at the size of this area. They have so much more stuff here than a normal Walmart. And even for a supermarket, it's got a lot more askew cam. It's like a convention center in this place. Do you find something almost physically appealing about like large indoor space? Yes, I, I definitely do. Yeah. Especially when it's wide open and you can see very far. The macaroni and cheese section goes from here all the way down. The full line. Pimento and cheese? Pimento and cheese, which we didn't get. Loaded bacon. White cheddar and black pepper. Which, yep. Five cheese. Two thirty-four. They come down in price. Great value. When you buy dried beans and peas and lentils, they always tell you to rinse them and check them first. And this giant rock in the bag is why they tell you that. Ooh. A QLN 320 with Walmart customizations. Running the Walmart uh, WMLs. You can get some Christmas cakes, boy. Yes. Everybody happy with your purchases, your vacuums, your floppy disks, your Dyna play sets, your giant metal keys. <laughs> My favorite thing was definitely the metal keys. Like as you reflect on the day, you're like, I'm glad I bought those keys. Yes. I'm glad I bought the floppy disk, but it feels a little excessive, especially at the price. Super Nintendo, I was planning to buy anyway. I just hadn't got around to it yet. And the Christmas tree cakes, I'm also very satisfied. <laughs> Nina, what was your favorite thing you bought all day? A little condiment playset. Fake ketchup. Fake really ketchup does it for you. Really. Where are we going? Mary Lou 
this coffee? I just want a cold chocolatey drink. So any drink in that class. Can it be chocolatey and coffee-ish or should sure, it be no coffee-ish? Yes. Co okay. Chocolatey, coffee-ish, mintish, caramelish, whatever. We got him a small frozen hot chocolate to cool down his preciouses. All right, so I got the Oreo Cookie Monster. John got the frozen hot chocolate. What'd you think, John? It's delicious. I love it. Dana, how's your coffee? It's delicious. It's wonderful. It's perfect. Flea market's right there and it's not even open for Black Friday. It's not open for Black Friday. It'll be open tomorrow. But uh, I had fun, guys. I yeah, this was a fun time. I'll see you next year. We'll do this again. I okay. would totally do this again next year. We'll do it again next year and probably make some content in between. Ooh.